So we, uh, we, we worked for quite a while, actually a couple of years, to uh, work with engineering and processing people to develop a proprietary process. The purity of the livers being so quickly frozen at minus 20, that oil, which we produced, it, it actually blew us away the first time we produced our first batch, uh, was odorless, colorless, and tasteless. And everybody thinks of cod liver oil as being this really yucky stuff, right, with color and taste. And, yeah. And, and we looked at it, and we went, I mean, literally, as it came out of the stream, you could uh, drink it almost like a, a vegetable oil. When we did the analysis, of course, uh, you, you do uh, anisidine and peroxide levels, so-called so TOTOX, as a way of mm -hmm. analyzing the purity of the oil. We had the lowest levels that had ever been measured. And so it was uh, the chemistry tied to what we could taste uh, in terms of our uh, recognition that we had a uniquely pure material. So Clipper Seafood is based in Dutch Harbor, which is the same place that many people will realize is where The Deadliest Catch is filmed. Mm -hmm. Talk more about Dutch Harbor and the facility that you guys have built there. Yes, uh, you know, when we started into this process, we recognized the, the ships uh, uh, from the Clipper fleet that were bringing our livers back. Uh, were delivering their product to Dutch Harbor, which is where their uh, facilities are located. And so we said, you know, rather than then take that, uh, those livers that are frozen and try to transport them, say, to Seattle, to a processing mm -hmm. plant, now we introduce another time and another problem of maybe uh, uh, degrading. Yeah. So we really need to have a plant uh, in Dutch Harbor. But there were no pharmaceutical-grade plants in Dutch Harbor. I yeah. mean, Dutch Harbor is a rugged uh, fishing process. In fact, I, I don't know if you know this, but... It is the number one fishing port in the world. A billion pounds of fish products go through Dutch Harbor every year. Wow, I did not know It's that. like an international community there because you have fishing fleets from many different countries that uh, offload and process through Dutch Harbor because it's uh, the gateway between the Bering Sea and, and the Aleutian Islands and, and into the Gulf of Alaska. Yeah. We thought, well, we would need to build a pharmaceutical-grade plant. Uh, and so we uh, were very fortunate to get a partnership with Norton Sound Development Group, which are native Alaskans, and uh, they developed a, a relationship with us, so we were able to get some property, which is very hard to find because these uh, Aleutian Islands are basically volcanoes with a very small amount of level land and everything. And so we, uh, we then orchestrated uh, a plan to develop a pharmaceutical grade uh, uh, plant with a technology that would never uh, expose the uh, oil, livers to high temperature or oxygen. Yeah. It was quite a novel experience to produce a pharmaceutical grade plant in Dutch Harbor, the, the, the heart of the fishing industry. Right. We had to build a building, by the way, with a structural strength so that it could withstand uh, 20 feet of snow and 120 mile an hour winds on the roof. So it's a really rugged place in the winter to say the least, but yeah. uh, we're very, very proud of the facility. It's all computer controlled, all stainless steel, all pharmaceutical grade. It's a, it's a one of its type in the world actually. So the whole process from, from catching fish through ultimately producing a product in a bottle that someone was gonna consume had to maintain that same level of, of care so that we didn't end up with a, one part of the process uh, resulting in degradation.